they're better people. You know, that kind of thing. Canadians? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, they're not. I think they are. No. They're 20% no. less douchebags in Canada. How many, fi- went- how many fights have you seen out of Tim Hortons? That's what I want to know. <laughs> exactly. exactly. You never see a exactly. beat down. You never right. see a like shooting. A I, went to a, I went to a strip club in Calgary, and they, they use the loonies and toonies, the coins, to uh-huh. give the strippers. Right. And people are like, when you go, make sure you don't warm them up with a lighter. They don't like that. And I'm like, What? <laughs> they're throwing okay. They're throwing hot coins at strippers. These are terrible people. This, this might be what we call like sampling bias. Like the study <laughs> that you took of what kind of people Canadians are at a whole was at a strip club. Blanket statement. And, and where? Where was the strip club? What Calgary. Town? Calgary. Okay. A strip club in a fucking cattle town, a frozen cattle town, uh-huh. in one of the toughest fucking places on earth to live. Yeah. I forgot it is a cattle town. Bro. Yeah. yeah. I've it's got like... some friends that my friends John and Jen, they live in Edmonton. And they, they live uh, out in Alberta. And it's so cold out there. You yeah. can take hot water and throw it in the air, and it freezes before it hits Jesus. the ground. Wow. Bro, they get to 50 below, 60 below. Oh, yeah. A week mm. before I was there, it was negative 30. And then the week I went, it was 32 degrees, and people were like, oh, I'm wearing shorts. <laughs> it was fucking <laughs> nuts. That's, Hardy. Why, yeah. Hardy that's why they're so cool up there. Mm-hmm. You have to have discipline to live. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you have to be able to shovel your car out mm-hmm. of the fucking snow to stay alive. To stay alive. It's like tough. it makes for better people. It makes for more resilient people. People are better when they know how to put on snow tires. <laughs> yeah. <You know? laughs> but well, you, this you guy really... in the strip club, honestly, he really I hate to think you out or anything, but he really like you know how like uh most guys go and they just kind of sit and observe? Yeah. He's part of the action. He immediately runs in throwing the dollars, spanking uh-huh. an ass. I'm like, I don't know if you're allowed to do that here, dude. I don't know like where you think I you're like, like he's from Delaware, so I assume that's like a In handshake. In Delaware, it's normal. <laughs> yeah, spanking yeah. a woman's ass. But Shout like, out I was Gold like, Club. And they liked it too. They were like, oh, finally a guy who gets us yeah. is here. They were like well, into they, him. They want to have fun, and most guys just sit there and like, you know, yeah, and you, not, you went up and you put a dollar like you were yeah. betting poker. I was like, like exchanging money. I was like looking around for the cameras. I'm like, oh, I don't want to be observed doing this. Yeah. Jesus but Christ. But it, it was it was really definitely a, uh, that was for uh, Louis Cass's uh, bachelor party. Half, half bachelor party. Half bachelor party? Because I wasn't going to go to Costa Rica with them. I'm too oh. old for that, you know? Yeah. So, so yeah, it's so like, like Oklahoma. It's like, we should just night out. The documentary <laughs> Dave, Chapp- Dave Attell and down there. Oh, it's Costa, Rica? Costa Rica is awesome, but yeah. the bugs are gigantic. Ugh. Bro, they have crazy bugs you have never seen before. They're like birds. Really? <laughs> They're fucking yeah. huge. I, 